guys, and welcome to this week's mail haul. This this one actually almost didn't happen. Ugh. Yeah. Face is all itchy. So, uh, recently I just did my Ipsy bag for this month. You can check that video out and watch me pour purple loose eyeshadow all over my keyboard, which I just vacuumed up. I think I got most of it. I think it's all good. All right, so this week we got a few things that decided to tower upon me over here and make a mess, and it's trying to slowly push the uh, the the books off of the um, thing. So Ozamani is here, and she wants to show you what she got this week. So come on over here. But after you. Oh, after me. Oh, okay. After you. So first up, we got uh, one thing to Minotaur books. This is Greg. Horace uh, Hellbent. This is an Orphan X novel. And I think we have something else that's also an Orphan X novel. Maybe not. No, it's not. It's just this one. So there's that one. This one looks really good. I don't know where this... I think this is the third book in this series. And uh, he is also the author... I knew that name sounded familiar. He's also the author of The Reigns and uh, Last Chance that we have review as well and oh that's cool the next one is thanks to midnight ink this is a division of Llewellyn worldwide um when this came in the mail i was like why are they sending me books um Llewellyn, Wor Llewellyn worldwide if you don't know is one of the major publishing companies for new age titles um anything that deals with wicca in any way shape or form will more than likely be published from them very few things aren't so uh we actually got two books from them we got um a cold day in hell which is a new book in a first book in a new series as well as 19 souls which is a yes i know which is a sin City Investigation, which is also a new, a first book in a new series. So these look really interesting. Um, these are both out in February. The next one is actually one. Oh, that one's yours. Oh. The next three, you forgot one, are actually from our last month's featured author, which is uh, Erica Lewis. It is Game of Shadows. These are mass market paperbacks. Um, we will actually be doing a giveaway for They're these. All the these same. are not signed, um, but we will be doing a giveaway. Uh, these I didn't even know these were in mass market paperback. I thought that was really kind of cool because um, these are more like middle grade teen, kind of in the middle somewhere, and these are just just as tour fantasy. So I thought that was kind of interesting. But uh, we'll have these up for for grabs. Hold on, I'm almost done. You said last, so now you're going to have to wait. Mm. The next two are from the author directly. Uh, these aren't signed either, but we'll be doing a giveaway as well. And this is for, I guess, book one and book two from Faded Eternals. This is My Soul Immortal and Council of Souls. And these look really good. This one, I swear I've seen this book before. Hmm. I don't know. But I swear I've seen this one before. But these look really good as well, too. Mom. No, you're going to have to wait. The next one actually just came today. This is from Tortine. This is directly from the author as well. Uh, this is one of our feature authors towards the end of the year. And this is Dive Smack. This one looks really interesting. Um, this book uh, is actually signed to me, but I do have a whole bunch of signed book marks to give Wait, out. Wait, don't in Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a letter saying thank you. Can I see? For featuring. Can I see it? No, you don't need to see it. Hey, Mom, can I do mine separate? No, you only have three books. The next one is Everywhere You Want to Be. This is from Christina June. This is thanks to Blink, and uh, that is a Division of Harper Collins and I think Zondervan books. There's that one. Um, this one doesn't come out until May. It says a modern retelling of the Red Riding Hood story. Ooh, I like retellings. The next one is actually an ARC of Everlist. So now we have this one and we also have the UK 
cover, which I was really excited to get. This is uh, thanks to Book Sparks. Um, so excited to get to read this. Uh, I haven't touched the print copy at all, but this looks so good. This is actually already out. It came out this month. Um, and uh, this looks really good. I know somebody on this site has already read it and said it was amazing. So I'm really excited to try it out. The next one is a paperback copy of Carve the Mark. This one I actually ended up with. I had another one of those $10 coupon things. I actually had two of them. And uh, this, I actually already have this as a signed copy in a hardback. But the paperback copy has this amazing little thing in the back of it that I couldn't pass up. It is the We Can Be Mended short that I didn't get a chance to get. So I'm really, really excited to read it. And it's not even that many pages long, but I was like, I, I need it. I need it. I can't not grab that. So I'm like, you know what? Uh, that's fine. I think I paid like three. Yeah, I paid like three dollars for it. It was like two ninety nine plus the tax. So definitely, definitely worth it just to get that. Put that one there. The next one that I use with my other coupon is a uh, Night of Cake and Puppets. This is, I guess, is a companion book to the Daughter of Smoke, Smoke, Smoke and Bone trilogy. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk today. Um, I've only read book one of that, but this looked really good, and I couldn't figure out what to grab, so I'm like, you know what? I'll just grab this. It's fine. The next one is another ARC. This one is thanks to Alagonquin. Alagonquin. That's last but not least. A Division of Workman Publishing. So this one is from the author of something or other. Oh, The Girl Who Drank the Moon, which is a middle grade. And this, uh, I don't know if this one's a middle grade. This is called Dreadful Young Ladies and Other Stories. So I'm guessing it's an anthology that has just got a whole bunch of little short stories in it. I'm trying to see if this says if it's no, it doesn't look like it. I guess I will just have to read this one and find out if it's in separate story. Teen no, if it's teen or not teen. Or um, middle grade. Uh -huh. I don't know. But it looks cute. It looks very interesting. Can I see? Mm -hmm. Is it pretty? Mm -hmm. It looks very pretty. It's like, have I even been showing you guys any of these covers? Nope. No, I have. And last but not least for the stuff that we got, or I got, uh, is one from Avon Books. This is a historical romance from Lorraine Heath, and it is Beyond Scandal and Desire. So there's that one. This is a Sins for All Seasons novel. And now, without further ado, here's awesome Annie with the three books that she got this, this week. Can I? I'll hold it. You pick up the book and show them. Okay, so first of all, we got Beauty and the Beast. And... This we got from, um... Books a Million. Yep. All and of she these. was actually sitting there reading part of this, which I thought was really interesting. Yeah. Okay, next. Oh, and this was two ninety seven. if you don't have a discount. Frozen. Card. A and frozen heart. This was three ninety seven. And then... The thing. Can you read it? <laughs> the unbeatable... What? Where is she? What is that? Um, um, um. What's so? always? What? No. What is always running up and down the trees outside? Um, guys, what they were calling? A squirrel. So it says the unbelieve, unbeatable squirrel. Girl. Girl. Squirrel meets world. Um, this is from Shannon Hale and Dean Hale. We actually had an ARC of this like and forever ago. And this was four ninety seven, and I actually wanted to show you guys something. And first of all, that I opened this book, I saw this. Mhm. Mm That's so cool. Yeah. This has footnotes. <gasps> That's footnotes. That's kind of weird. Yeah. 
That's weird. We'll figure what those are out for a while. Oh, you got the, the cursor. She's got the like the cursor in her eyeball. All right. Well, that is everything that we've gotten this week. We hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe wherever it happens to be on the screen. And uh, we will catch you guys later. If you don't know, if you haven't watched the Ipsy, uh, the Ipsy video, um, we have been slightly trying to catch up again. Um, Andy ended up in the ICU oh, back on Monday, and we were there for about two days, and then in the hospital for three total. And um, she was diagnosed with type one diabetes, so it's been uh, it's been a very stressful week, and. Uh, running around constantly, uh, doctors, doctors, shots, groceries, doctors. I, I, I'm tired. I have not gotten this much sleep in forever. Uh, eating has gotten a lot harder because now we have to count every single carb that she eats and write it all down. And it's, uh, I don't recommend this. So if you want to try and stay away from type 2 diabetes, because type 1 is is one of those things that you either end up with it or you don't. You can De get healthy with us. Definitely, definitely, definitely try to eat healthy because you don't you don't want this. And if you can prevent it, you're going to want to do so. Or they can get healthy with us. Yes. Uh, my other account called Cursed Reader. Uh, it's on um, Instagram and Twitter. We will be posting things about how we're eating and stuff like that in our journey with dealing with diabetes. And, and then you can get healthy with the stuff. darn too. Yes, which I will say that this this diet, because there's no real restrictions on to it, it's just like portion sizes and stuff um, and cutting out a lot of the sugars for the total carbohydrates. Um, I've lost almost 10 pounds, although most of that is probably stress. But hey, I will, I will take it. I will definitely take it. So definitely uh, check it out and we will catch you guys later. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.